Welcome to today's review for the Digital Clock Security Camera with Infrared. In today's video, I'll go over how to use it, how to manage files, and some of the clock settings. But first, let's go over some unboxing. So the Delamay Digital Clock Security Camera with Infrared does come with a user guide for the PV Cam Viewer app and the clock itself. The camera does have a nice sleek design to it and has buttons on the top to change the time. If you remove the back panel right here, you can see that you have the functions for the camera such as power, an SD card slot, micro USB port, reset button, on or off for the Wi-Fi, on or off for the infrared, and continuous or motion recording. When you have it plugged in and it's all good to go, lights would illuminate stating it's in that state. And you do have the port for the power. Some other things that would be included would be the micro USB cable, the power cord, and a adapter as well. Also, it does come with a 16 gigabyte SD card for your first use. When getting the camera set to go to connect to your PV Cam Viewer app, make sure you put the SD card in, have the recorder settings to what you want them to be, whether it's turning on or off the Wi-Fi, on or off the infrared, or putting it into continuous or motion recording. And then right from the Wi-Fi settings of your phone, you can connect to the camera's Wi-Fi signal. Hop over to the PV Cam Viewer application where we're going to add the device and device management. Hit the plus button in the top right and scan the QR code. Once it's scanned, it'll read it and you enter the code from the camera's QR code and tap into the gear buttons. You'll see that you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Hit the I where the SSID is. Select your Wi-Fi and password and save and it'll say operation succeeded. From there, you can also change the device code, or you can go back into the recorder settings where you can see the live stream. From there, you can overwrite the SD card so it records over its old history, change the motion time, and also the sensitivity for motion. You can also change it to normal recording mode, screen capture, or screen record. If you go back into the main menu and hit program settings, from there you can change the date and time. Also, change the resolution of the camera, the frames per second, and also format the SD card or even check the storage info where you can see how much memory is used. If you go back and hit the video files, you can see that you have all the history of every recorded file on the SD card and you can back it up to your phone for viewing. Once it hits 100%, you're able to view it uh, or delete it as well. If you go to backup files, you can see what you saved and share as well. You can also delete files from this backup files page just by swiping left. One way to find out if your camera is connected and all ready to go, you'll see that the green light is solid and the red light is solid. If you're wanting to change the time, click the third of the last button on the right and you'll see that the hours will start blinking. From there, you can hit left or right on the top and change the hours. Hit the third to the last button again and you could change the minutes. Left to right would adjust the time. To save the time, click the third to the last button. If you are wanting to manage and delete files from the computer, simply plug in the micro USB cable from the clock to the computer. From there, it'll recognize and you'd be able to hit on photo or video. From here, I selected one I wanted to delete, highlighted it and hit the delete button. You can also right click and then hit delete. If you're wanting to delete videos, you can do the same thing. Select what you want to delete, right click or highlight and hit the X button at the top. For demonstration, let's go ahead and take a look at a daytime shot versus a nighttime shot. And that's it for today's video for the digital clock security camera with infrared. Make sure to grab one and visit our Spy Center page at spycenter.com and follow us for the latest content.